Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. So over the last couple of weeks, there's a YouTube channel called Demolition Wrench, which I've been a fan of for years. And then he started a secondary channel, which by the way, we did too, Dive Talk Plus. But he his channel is a little bit bigger, let's just face it. <laughs> but uh, it's called Off The Wrench, because Demolition Wrench is the main channel, Off The Wrench is the secondary channel. And in this channel, he, Matt is his name, he's the main guy in the channel. He basically bought this property in Texas, and he's finding all these caves in his property. So for the last couple of weeks, he's been exploring these caves. They have water in them. So as he is exploring these caves, he is basically making comments like, man, we really should get cave divers here. Like, so they can explore where this cave goes. Because they reach places where it's like fully submerged, and he's like, this is it. We're not going further. And there has been this movement from some of our fans. So thank you guys, subscribers and people who watch our channel, commenting on his videos, telling them you need to collaborate with Dive Talk. Get the Dive Talk guys there. Get, bring Dive Talk. Right? <laughs> nice. That's what they're saying. Nice. So I, I thought it was pretty cool. So I wanted to show you the exploration they've been doing. Fascinating. I've been watching every single video as soon as it comes out. I've been paying attention to it. And um, I wish we get to work together and check it out wow. because it looks cool. All right. So Hope here it so. is. We are back here at the cave. Mare said she wanted to go in this time. Let's go, Mare. So Mare's going all the way. Just kidding. She's. I'm, I'm going to go first. <laughs> I'm going to go further than everyone. <laughs> all right. So I need a shot Roman is actually going in. <laughs> you, are, you ready? I'm ready, dude. Roman bought us some old used wetsuits. <laughs> Even today. glow sticks. That's... And glow sticks. It's official. So the problem we had last time, we got, we got very cold. It's helpful. Yeah. So this time we got wetsuits to go in there. The last time I had a map that showed about like 10 meters into this cave and then a question mark. We went much further than that. Um, that map was made in the 80s, like 87 or something. Since I put the video up, someone sent me a new map that was made in 1975. Ryan, thank you for sending this. Um, the blue line, I, I figured out the blue line is how far we went. We went mm -hmm. to there and it goes Look how over much twice cave that there distance is and then has a question mark. Like it keeps going. They just didn't go any further. Every time I see one of those question marks, I'm like, well, when are we going? What's there? That question mark should just say Mike Young. <laughs> There's also two siphons or sumps. They call them, I think it's the same They're thing. Sumps. I'm not really sure. They're not cave terminology. But that's where you have to go underwater. So we're not going to cross any siphons. We're not going as far as this map goes. Uh, I'm going to yeah. wait till some real yeah. cave divers come in. He's saying siphon. And siphon right. just means that basically the water is taking you um, into the cave. Into the cave, right? Right. So, that's, so typically that's dangerous because right. you want you don't want to struggle to get out of the cave, right? Correct. So normally when you're a spring is the other way around. You have it's water hard to out. swim in and the water's pushing you out, so you come out much quicker. Right. So siphon is a river in the opposite direction, going into the cave. What he's talking about, he used the right terminology, which is a sump. You find a fully submerged part of the cave, you go under and sometimes you pop up and the other side goes back dry and you can keep going. But we are going to go a little bit further than last time to see what's through that last little narrow part because I can see that it opens up again. So I'm hoping we get past uh, the Poseidon part. Well, it looks like my kid drew that. I mean, yeah, it was draw drawn by some crazy drunk guy in the 70s, probably. At least it's one shot. It doesn't look like you a maze. I can't no, draw it's not it. a maze. There's really only one major tunnel. There's a couple little branches that come off, but they end really quickly. You ready for some cave crickets? <laughs> Yay! Sounds like a new cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized we're going back in the cave. I'm full of regret. You nervous? Yeah, I'm getting nervous again. I'm not as nervous as before because we all lived. Well, except Mikey, but... <laughs> Rip. Is that why Mikey's yeah. not? Yeah. Know. Have you noticed that you haven't seen Mikey this trip? He's he's in the hospital. So they're not think sure how many caves there are. That nobody in, knows. Sure. Exists. <laughs> Entrances all over. So many. Don't drink the water. But look, the water looks crystal clear. Look at it. But this is a typical <laughs> David Vigiano <laughs> trip that That's I go on with go him. Here. He's like, <laughs> see this That's hole? We're gonna crawl through it. Bite through these, right? Yeah, for sure. Unzip up, right? Yeah, for sure. You're good. <laughs> Mikey went right. You can make it right, but it just sucks. You shouldn't. That's why Clint bailed, because he went right. And he was like, I'm not doing this. But if you go left, there's a little more room. And then once you get through it, it's like six feet of like breathing through like this. And you have to cock your head to the side. Once there. you get through that, there's a freaking head hole. And you can just put your whole head in it, and you can breathe great. Head I like the briefing. Crickets. It's like so full-on cave so diving style briefing. All right. 
I have so much anxiety with them going in. Mm -hmm. I was freaking out. Y'all are going to come get us, though, right? If we get stuck. I think I already said no. Call in. What? <laughs> Clint was like, I can't breathe. And I was like, get out. Get out right now. Like, I, got, I was like starting to get Clint mad. Would be a hard one to drag out. I mean, this oh, is dangerous, like right? Late. This thing could, I don't know if anybody's been in there, but these things can, right. they can collapse. I mean, people have certainly have died doing this. Yeah. And like, why is the cars for sale? <laughs> Are you just selling everything? Just thought we were it comes out on vacation? We're goners. Oh my gosh. Freezing. So, that's the thing. I will commend them for having a backup light. They have a headlight, looks like, and a handheld O light. Um, but you, can you see why there can be no rain? Look at their margin of error. Yeah. Dude, I'm so much warmer with this wetsuit on. Dude, this is heaven, right? Yep. Without it, you're crawl. Without it, it's freeze. Yeah. yeah, that was the worst part. Woo! I've done this. Exactly By the way, like this slot canyoneering. I got I got to talk about this because you said something interesting, which is I hope it doesn't rain. And people are like, "Come on. That's just not what's the rain? The rain's not going to come and, oh, you know, flood well, this guy." Yes, it does. The cave was created by water. Like, yes, the water goes all the way to whatever hole you see here dry. That was made by water. Yeah. The biggest so, risk of yes. of slot canyoneering, which I've done a, a few times in Utah, is the risk of flash flooding. It's beautiful out. Yeah. And the water can be raining from 10, our guides told us this, 10 miles away from you. And it comes so quick and so fast that when you're in there, it's like a fire hose shoots the water in where you're in. Yeah. There's no like, warning or it's gently rising it's just mm -hmm. whoop, and you're dropped so it's not like oh i smell rain maybe we should head flash back. flood boom you're Bye. swimming you're dead oh i thought i could stand up i can't <laughs> hey did you stand up in here yeah you can stand isn't it cool and looky the water's been all the way up there see right. the mud exactly Ooh, some crickets. to the ceiling <laughs> It's so refreshing, honestly. It does feel, it's so much better than without. So this is just wide open here. Huh? So we can just keep going. Yeah, going. go left, that's the way. So we're getting, we're probably like halfway as far as I've been. And no rattlesnakes yet. Really? Isn't this cool? The water's beautiful. What? How is there this much water just chilling here? What is that? Oh, there's some animal. Huh? There's like a salamander or something. Oh, it's all worm. Yeah, it's a worm there's or something salamander There's something swimming in the water. Oh, it's a cricket. What? Right here. <laughs> He's swimming. Hey, little guy. Whoa, he jumps. I didn't know they jumped. Yeah, there's like a salamander up on that wall. I'll be underwater, far away from any oh, insects and salamanders. Yeah, you're good, dude. Mystery cave. Roman said if one of our lights Water's so cold, light, too. Like, no, Mike would probably eat them for I snacks. <laughs> hey, just for fun, let's turn our lights off. All right. Oh. Oh, I see your glow stick. Hello. Oh, Caves are dark. Hello. Okay, imagine trying to get out now. Well, that would be the worst. How would there you the go. Worst. That's a good example of right. how panic would set Keep in going. when all lights are out. It's like, cool. what do I do? Yeah. With no line. They don't have a line. No, they're, they're not running a line. No. That's what stirs up the rattlesnakes. All right, so at the end of this passage, it gets really narrow. But look, there's more caves there. To the left. Look, what's there? What's to the left here? Exactly. Go under. Oh, that's too line. Don't go under. Line. Don't go. The ground we're walking on is all this super sharp stuff too. So it's like but you're near a very helping. sharp floor underneath this water. How dare you? This is where I finally got scared and called it. I don't blame like you. Oh, it's, it's By the way, here. I've never dry caved with David without a helmet on. Oh shoot, dude, this is- I'll always. There's stuff helmet. underneath here to the left also. Oh my God, dude, I wanna go. I wish I brought a mask for snorkeling. Yeah. This is really pretty water. What's in there? It, this stuff is so crumbly. It looks like we could yeah. keep going. Well, let's keep going. It's got a very hollow, like. I think it. Glass. That cave has been I wet think it gets recently, bigger. all the way. Yeah. Based on the map, you can see the mud go on the sides is wet. All the there. way up to the ceiling. It's pretty tight right here. Is it? This is pretty tight right here. We can definitely do it. This is uncharted territory for me. I mean, I'm trying. You want me to jump up there and go first? It's it's very very slick mud. Yeah. And my knee's about six inches under mud right now. Oh, let me go first. Silty. I want to see this. 
I'm gonna pass you. Oh, oh. You have to squeeze in, little buddy. <laughs> Dude, it's oh, so can... slick, I can't keep my foot Dude, falling. I wanna go underwater right here. It's oh, funny, it's they're all filming film. each other. Yeah. Audio mm, it's all mud. Yeah, it's gonna give me some out of Look at these little stalactite things. Dude, the water was crystal clear, and now it's very muddy. Yeah. Can you guys still hear us? Nope. We're on our own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is mud. <laughs> That's slick, dude. I like was sliding under. I mean, other than that, it's crystal clear. Yeah, this is less fun. <laughs> it's like royal Caribbean water back there. Yeah, but it is stirring up quickly. Oh, of course. Shoot. Does it open up? I don't know. We're all getting a little sketch now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, this is. It just no, keeps that, going and going. So I really have done a lot of this so dry caving <laughs> stuff. This There's is a stick floating back exactly here. what it's like. In here. I don't know if we go much further. We'll see. Holy cow, this goes so far. Oh, my God. Yeah, where it oh, goes. oh, yeah, we go further for sure, dude. Holy cow. Yeah, this is cool. But I don't know if we go further without oxygen. Or Matt. a line. Matt, the comments are really I'm ready. Getting mad at yeah, me. exactly. Really? A line. Yeah. Matt. <laughs> well, with We're ready. water, you can like knock like stuff out of the water. Are y'all gonna come back here or no? No, I'm just chilling. Okay. You wanna come? I mean, I would say let's come to this point. Okay. And then we can call it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see really far, but I don't think we should go any further. You have to hold your breath. It just spots. keeps yeah. going and going. Whoa, cool. You can stand here. Oh. I mean, there's still there's still crickets here. I feel like that means... Uh, be kind of delicious. That means there's oxygen, right? Look at this. Oh, yeah, for a cricket. So much <laughs> How much does a cricket breathe? I don't know. Tester, but there's crickets back here. I'm breathing. <laughs> so I think you start getting like drunk feeling. Oh, and I was go. already drunk when I got in here. So. Hypoxia? Drunk right, feeling? Ready? I'm not sure I about that. I just want to see what, like, where it ends. Oh, there's some weird cable or something. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I read this on the map. Huge. Dude, I read on the map that there was a rope, a guide rope. This is probably that the first smart. siphon where you have to go underwater. Something. Oh yeah, this yeah. is a rope. Whoa. It's anchored into this rock. This rope has got to be, I don't know, old, old, but it's still good. So that has been there since so this the 70s probably. Dude, I don't want to go further. Are we going further? Oh my <laughs> Let's just gosh. keep going. Dude. Now, I think with the concerns of oxygen. Yeah. I think it's probably I good. I didn't know that was a thing. Because if one of us passes out, we're all going to start passing out and we won't be able to drag each other out. So we need some actual cave divers with oxygen to come down here, or at least some testers to see if there's enough oxygen. They're right. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, we went. We definitely went twice as far as we. No, probably, probably one and a half. You could lay a lot of line there. Just be oh, underwater in your dry suit and go. That's a snake. What is what? Dude, it went. Oh, it actually is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what was that piece of rope? Dude, it was a snake. You brought that just. <laughs> Dude, if that would have been floating past me, I would have freaked. freaked. He's got red eyes, too. <laughs> Just keep, every time we go further, it makes another turn, and it's far. Can you hear me? Nope. They're way back. That sounds yeah. dead ending. Silence. 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 A little eerie. Hello! Marco! Nothing. Cool. Love that. Oh my god. Dream. What is my life? <laughs> <laughs> just a slow burning anxiety. It's not slow burning anymore. It's just like a dumpster fire of anxiety. It's peaceful. That's because we're getting drunk and passing out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, I just want to go down there so bad. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, me too. Like we found a freaking guide rope. That's cool. That is really cool. Oh, there's the guide rope's been down there so long. There's like stalactites growing on it. This is nuts. Oh, totally stuck on your sharp rock. Man, that thing is sharp. Uh, I got a hole in my Oh, man, it's just like a razor blade. By the way, that is a good yeah, observation. Starting. He said the guide rope has been here for so long that stalactites are growing in them. And that's cool because we do see that in the caves in Abaco, for example, where you have a stalactite that was so big that fell over at some point, and then stalactites are growing out of that stalactite. It's unbelievable. It's or lot. stalagmites or whatever. Yeah. A lot of minerals. Leave bad back here. Oh, drip, drip, drip. Never drip. make it out. All right. All right. We're getting out of this cave now. 
So this kind of stuff's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But then it gets just so freaking low. You can see how it could get very confusing right turning around. Like, where, where do Was I it right? left or right? Yeah. The water I, clunking around in these Look at that. that. Did they come from there? Did they come straight? So Tough. Loud. Luckily, this cave has head holes, so you can get through. Roman, are you gone? Did you just run out of here? I'm right here. <laughs> Roman, don't leave me! I'm right here, but I'm lost! I can't find anyone! So last time I was in this cave, I was a lot more nervous, and that made it seem way harder. And we also, it took me a lot longer to get to here. To and no I wetsuit, that's what he said last time. Yeah, I wonder how cold the water is. I mean, they're freezing. I know, Georgia. but 50s in Georgia. No, but they're in Texas. But I don't know. Like, it's it like cold. 70 yeah. degrees. No way. It's still cold at 70. That's not, I bet it's not. I bet it's colder. I'm wildly comfortable. Yeah. Maybe it's the lack of oxygen talking. Yeah, it's, it's definitely you. You can't feel your body anymore. Your brain's not. Brain's not working right. Why would somebody hide stuff down in yeah. their bodies and things? It's like the slot canyon here in Utah. Like we did. We we were in water a long time, but we brought wetsuits. Yeah. And guides, though, that actually could save our lives. Because you can fall into what are called, in a slide, when you slide canyon ear, I'm going to tell you this really fast. You can fall into what are called keeper pools. So imagine you're walking, you're walking, and all of a sudden it just drops down into like a Super Bowl, a smooth bowl, and you fall into it. How do you get out? How do you get out of the soup bowl? You can't climb out. It's purely flat. Yeah, it's smooth, yeah. So it's called a keeper pool. Yeah. So the guides are constantly telling you, if you get to an edge, when you go, go really slow, never jump. Because if, if you jump and fall in it, there could be something protruding and you land and it goes right through you, right? Mm. So they're like, just stop. Don't go into that. And I was leading and I went Immediately into fell. Yeah. Right, right into the keeper pool. And they're like, Shocker. and then they were like yelling. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay, go ahead and get out. The guide's yeah. like on purpose knowing that. I'm like, I can get out, you know. Sure, that's no big deal. I'll get Please. right out. Watch. It's like climbing from here to right there. I'll get out. Watch And me. you just, nothing, grabbing, and you're just here splashing water. And I hear them laugh. They're like, okay, we're coming to save you because yeah. you can't. And they lowered a rope and you got me out. But if they're not there and you fall in a keeper pool. So we call them uh, yuppie traps. It keeps you. If you have an ear infection, that's probably going to be the best case scenario after being that far in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have some other infections. Hey. We made it! Well, we don't have the cameraman, but Roman and I made it. <laughs> so it felt like we went so much further, but right here says bolt set in wall. We found that. Yeah, we did. So we went, yeah, it was probably one and a half times. So we start here. We made it there last time. We made it here this time. It doesn't take long to get there. It doesn't. We're cruising through. Yeah, but we made it all the way to bolt set in wall. We still, yeah, we need to get scuba gear and go further. Well, I mean, I don't. Somebody I was okay. perfect Spot. until That's he good. mentioned lack of oxygen. You're like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't go anywhere. Yeah. I can fill it down. So there. I read your comments. Everyone's you like, oh, yeah. don't mess up like the water because then gases come out of still water and you run out of oxygen and you start feeling drunk and you pass out. And I'm like, I don't want to pass out in water. I don't we, we pass out. Mm -hmm. All right, really we out, actually bro. have some cave divers that are coming mm -hmm. out though soon. Oh. Soon, way more cave content awesome. coming your way. Um, they're going to come out here and they're going to actually go explore far in here and it's going to be free and I can't wait. That's jealous. cool. I wonder who it is. That's awesome. Yeah, but that's very smart. jealous. That's smart that, they, that they're doing that. that. Of course. That's the way to do it. Don't try to venture. Like when he said, I, let's go get some scuba gear and let's go in. No, no. That's, that's how you die. die. So that is that is very smart. But no, overall, man, great adventure. And really? I'm following this series like till the end. It looks really, really awesome. Yeah, they look super cool. Yeah, a few days ago, they blew up uh, a hole with dynamite and found another cave. Wow. <laughs> just living their best life. I just want to use the dynamite. All right. That's... But anyway, in case... Awesome. Yeah, cave exploring is awesome. And in case you haven't uh, checked out our episodes, cave exploring down in Mexico, I want to leave it right here. Check Bye. it out. Bye, everybody. Give us a call, Matt.